This is the booster oven. Last hurrah here. Um, was having some trouble with this unit earlier in the week. Everything was good uh, into the transformer. Um, when I disconnected the 208 and the neutral, took my meter to it, asked it to cook, I got 208. So systemically, electronically, the relays, the boards, the catches, everything's working properly, ran into here. Um, I took the service manual and I started ohming out the transformer, ohming out, uh, metering the capacitors, trying to check the diode. I ran into some really weird readings trying to check the diodes. I called tech support and tech support very adamantly told me once I have 208 coming into here, replace everything else on the high voltage side. From that transformer forward, replace the transformer, replace the capacitors, replace the diodes, replace the magnetrons. The magnetrons have been recently replaced. And to be honest, I have more of those in my truck. So I didn't replace those. So we have a new transformer, new caps, new diodes. So his rationale was, I mean, this is 10,000 volts. Once you're on this side of that 10,000 volts, you can't really troubleshoot anything safely any more than ohming out the transformer. And the funny part is the transformer ohmed out proper. When I actually tested all these components individually, they all tested okay. Um, these are what I thought were the culprits. And what happens is you buy that as a set. So you get a diode, you get a capacitor. I got the transformer as well because it really was buzzing and overheating. So now we're gonna go ahead and fire it up. See what happens. Well, I didn't notice this until I started it up. Um, yeah, there's water in it. Let's not, let's not. <laughs> I'm gonna dry that out first. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Take a quick jump of the water, see what it's at. Good enough. 69 degrees. All right. 69 degrees. I'm not going to cook the thermometer. Let's do this. 30 seconds. I actually think it's, I'll have to look. I want to say it's, 26 degrees and 35 seconds or something like that. I'd have to pull up the actual testing manual. They want you to do it every month. I want to say it is. It's 25 degrees at 35 seconds. So we were at 70, so we're looking for 95. Ding, ding, ding. Let me pull it up. Pull it up. Oh, no. That's what you There we go. Seventy to ninety-five. Oh yeah. And again. There's a button right here. Press it. And then one, three, five, seven, nine, and it should not be making noise when you do it, and then it goes into service mode. Um, and number three, just bringing on both. And there you go. 16 amps. That's definitely pulling through both magnetrons. There you go.